So in this next lesson, let's actually sum up these uh, account types uh, by how many uh, number of accounts you have for each, each type, which is why we did this exercise. So you could do that by using the summif function. What you want to do is kind of talk out loud what you're trying to do. When you use the summif function, the pop-up will actually tell you that the first uh, criteria, first field is variable is a range followed by criteria and the sum range. So basically though, what you can say is, I want to sum all of the account amounts if that type is equal to this particular keyword, the corporate account. Um, in this case, the range is I want to test what the type is and I want to know that that type is the corporate account type. You could either type that in or just click that cell that has the right keyword. And now I'm going to sum the range, in this case, column D. What this will do is basically go through each one of the, the rows in column E, the, corp, the account type column, see if it matches your criteria, which is the second variable. And then finally, it'll automatically sum up the corresponding number in the accounts quantity column. So you could do this not just with the this kind of table, but suppose you have uh, accounts with dollar values, then you can sum up the dollar values automatically. Um, you already learned in a separate lesson how to automatically copy this over. Your cursor changes on the bottom right, and you could double click, and it'll copy and fill out the formula for the rest of your table. So here you have it. Just to double check, double checking is always a good exercise. This will tell you that you have total of 991 accounts. And if we were to repeat that here, you see that these two numbers should match, and they do.